Hi guys. It is a beautiful, borderline spectacularly gorgeous late summer evening getting close to the fall of 2023. It is now a Wednesday night. What is that? September 20th, 2023. So guys, uh, I think I might have missed a couple of days. It has been a strange week in my life. I am sick as a dog. The dog is sick as a human. So I've got a sick human, a sick dog, uh, dealing with this, this unbelievable bullshit drama. Uh, ju just another day on the planet. Somehow... Uh, my rant yesterday fell through, so maybe I'll bring you two of them now that I can finally catch my breath for the first time this week here on Wednesday night. So, uh, as I'm sure you realize, there is a big United Nations summit to save the planet going on in New York City, baby. So, was today the actual climate summit? But anyway, maybe, I'm not sure when this was, uh, you know, with all of these little corporate whores, otherwise known as world leaders. Uh, I've heard about this guy, and, <laughs> and so I guess uh, the UN Doomer-in-Chief, uh, Senor Guterres, has a new competition, the new kid on the block and the vying for the Doomer in Chief. Uh, I love my new new t-shirt, my birthday present from uh, my buddy Kevin. No music on a dead planet. Great Doomer t-shirt. No music on a dead planet. Thank you, brother, for that kind birthday present, uh, but anyway, back to this story, this is this fellow, I think he's been mentioned on, uh, on Manga Bay that Rhett Butler has mentioned this guy a couple of times, this is the president of Colombia, what is his name, Gustavo Petro Urrego, uh, from good old Associated Press, dispatches from the UN, Colombian leader summons intense oratory for a bleak warning. We have a bleak warning from uh, the United Nations this time around. It's usually a dire warning, but this is, I guess, bleak. Is bleak beyond dire? So what is the Colombian leader's bleak warning? Humanity is making itself extinct. Thank you, Senor Presidente Gustavo Petro Urrego. <clears throat> Colombian President Gustavo Petro delivered an ominous prophecy with grandiose language on Tuesday, painting a grim picture of what lies ahead if nations fail to swiftly redesign the way humans live on this planet. And I think it's safe to say that humans are not going to swiftly redesign the way we live on the planet. So I guess this is the uh, straight-ahead prediction. Uh, we want to welcome uh, Gustavo into the Doomosphere. Quote, <clears throat> I'm assuming he's talking about 2023 here. Quote, It has been a year in which humanity lost and without hesitation has advanced the times of extinction. It was seem, it would seem as though the global leadership has made enemies with life. Close quote. Eloquent oratory is a skill Petro often deploys 
lately he has done so to project himself as a global leader on climate change and to reproach others for failing to fully heed its peril. He stole the show at Brazil. Oh, this is what I Rhett was talking about. He stole the show at Brazil's hilarious Amazon summit uh, in July, calling on his oil-producing neighbors to abandon fossil fuels and asserting that allowing continued drilling while calling for a green transition is tantamount to being in denial. Well, as being in denial on all kinds of fronts. So I want to, I just need to break in here and ask a question. Uh, is Colombia an oil producing country? In 2021, Colombia was South America's largest coal producer and second largest petroleum and other liquids producer after Brazil. The country is also a significant oil exporter. In 2021, it was the fifth largest crude ex crude oil exporter to the United States. So one more. Does Colombia have any oil production? Okay, so this is this year, you know, under the leadership of Gustavo. <clears throat> so far this year, oil output is up almost 3% at 700 73,000 barrels per day, while Colombia's oil industry remains an important source of revenue, lefty president Gustavo Petro has pledged to shift away from fossil fuels, including oil and gas, to more green energy. Yep, yep, yep. Do with that what you want. It, it, it's just me. If I had been an associate, Associated Press reporter, that's how long, that is how long it would have taken a reporter to call out, uh, to call out this dude. Under his watch, uh, oil production has gone up 3% in 2023, but anyway, uh, talk about being in denial. Uh, all right, but back to, uh, back to Mr. Denial. At the UN meeting, he said that what he called the crisis of life has already begun as signaled by the migration of climate refugees and warned that in the coming half century, their numbers will reach three billion. So he is claiming uh, three billion uh, out of eight billion people on this planet becoming climate refugees. His country, you know, Colombia, today covered by lush forest will transform to desert, he said, and its people, meaning his people, will decamp en masse, quote, no longer attracted by the sequence of the wealth, but by something simpler and more vital, water. Yes. <clears throat> what else was on his mind? Petro said that mankind has, quote, dedicated itself to war. Huh, do you think so? Which has distracted attention and resources from development goals. You know, as I was pointing out yesterday, 
more and more what you're going to see is the mainstream media dropping the word sustainable from development goals. Uh, more and more articles on the mainstream media are going to cut the crap about sustainable development goals. Now, they're not going to, uh, you know, go as far on the mainstream media as pointing out that sustainable development is the biggest oxymoron of the 21st century. They're just going to stop using the word sustainable, but that's what they were talking about. That Pedro said mankind has dedicated itself to war, which has distracted and resources from the sustainable development goals and climate change, which he called, quote, the mother of all crises. I would say it's more the great-grandchild of all the crises. Anyway, uh, his speech at times resembled literary prose, particularly his characterization of the migration flow. Speaking of the migration flow, it has started from the farthest corners of the planet, from the last places. A silent march of people of different cultures that mix along the way as a painting of infinite hues. Yes, the colors mix along the unstoppable march. A multitude of all colors advance by trails, oceans, and jungles. Yes, I think we get it. Uh, Petro wrapped up by saying he wants his three grandchildren to live, quote, far from apocalypse and the times of extinction. And guys, I have no clue what this closing quote means from this guy. Would someone <laughs> tell me what in the hell is this, is this dude talking about? Okay. Quote, I want them, meaning his own three grandchildren, to live in the times in which the human being knew how to cease killing itself on the planet and managed and managed understanding its own cultural diversity to fulfill the expansion of the virus of life through the stars of the universe. Close quote. Okay. Times in which humans knew how to cease killing themselves on this planet and managed to fulfill the expansion of the virus of life through the stars of the universe. So it, uh, I, I, I mean, the guy, guy guys, uh, he, he completely lost me. So I don't know if there was some uh, bad translation from the Spanish. So he basically says that humans are, you know, destroying themselves and everything on this planet. So he hopes he can take the virus of, I'm assuming, human life. What, what other life is a virus? So, okay. Humans have pretty much killed their home planet. So it's time to take the virus of humanity through the rest of the universe. Oh, Jesus. 
that that that's got to be that has to be one of the most psychotic things that I've that I've heard uh, out of some clueless moron's mouth in in in, in, in 2023. I, I, I again that comment is so clueless on so many levels. I I I I, I literally have no clue. Uh, what he's talking about, but it says it all right here. No music on a dead planet. So anyway, guys, uh, since I haven't been around for a couple of days, I'm going to come back and we're going to share what I honestly do not know. Like that last night, I honestly do not know uh, if, if this article from Medium.com I'm getting ready to share is irony or not? Is it doomer humor or is it for real? But you'll have to listen to that. And we're going to talk, come back and talk about cannibalism. One of my favorite subjects, being a doomer. We're going to come back and talk about eating our, not our fellow earthlings, but our fellow humans. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that. Coming up in one minute. Bye, guys.